Okay, so I'm going to be starting off with the Smashbox Eye Primer. I got a little sample of this a couple weeks ago and I haven't been able to stop using it since then and I think I'm going to have to buy a big bottle because I love it that much. Yeah, if you haven't used it yet, go try it. So I'm going to be using my Too Faced Sweet Peach palettes and this is probably one of my favorite palettes right now mainly because the colors are gorgeous and it smells like peaches um, and I'm going to be using those two colors there. The like the reddish brown and the light brown and the brush that I'm using for that I think that one is my Luxie brush this is a 231 small tapered blending brush and then I didn't show the color on camera but this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills modern renaissance palette the darker brown next I'm taking my NYX eyeshadow base in skin tone um, it's not really skin tone for me, it's kind of like a beige, they could have just named it beige, I don't know. And then I blended that out with my finger. This makeup look was mainly inspired by my nails, because um, I thought the color was really pretty so I was trying to match it to my nails. And then I'm using my NYX glitter glue, because the eyeshadow that I'm going to use is glitter so I'm trying to like make sure it stays on my face and the glitter that I'm using is a mix of max tan pigment and this multicolored glitter that I got from um, this local makeup store nearby and the color matches my nail pretty closely I think on camera it doesn't really do much justice but it was very sparkly and it's really pretty and it matched my nails kind of perfect so I was very happy and then I'm taking my Urban Decay Waterproof Eyeliner. Um, I prefer eyeliner pens. I don't really like the liquid ones. I think the pens are a lot easier to deal with. And this one is amazing. It's waterproof and stays on pretty good. So thumbs up for me. And then I'm taking those um, browns that I used earlier from the Too Faced palette and using that underneath my eye. Okay, next I'm going to color correct. I'm using my orange color corrector from NYX, the conceal palette that I've been using for forever and a day. If you watch my videos, you pretty much know the deal. And I use that to color correct any darkness around my mouth and underneath my eyes. And I'm taking my Lanstone, Lanstone, my Lancome Stick Foundation. Um, this is the Tint Eye Doll Ultra Wear Foundation Stick, I think it's called and this pure cosmetics blender it's not a beauty blender i guess technically it is i don't i don't know what to call it it's a um it's a blending sponge and it's from pure cosmetics and i'm taking the smashbox studio skin concealer um i don't normally switch out my concealers i'm kind of a huge fan of the nars but this one is it works pretty good and then blending that out again with the pure cosmetics blending sponge this one's pretty cool. It has like a flat edge and rounded edges, so it, it helps to like get in the corners really good. And then going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer and Fawn. I used to use Warm Honey, but I think that one was a little too light, so I just went back to using Fawn and it looks a lot better. And then blending that out again with the pure cosmetic sponge and then taking my pure cameo stick this is a concealer stick this is the darkest one I think they have I don't know there might be a darker one but I'm using the shade dark and I'm using that to contour I'm taking my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and I still haven't found a good dupe for well I did find one I haven't bought yet um, 
I'm using the color Bitter from my Vice palette as a blush and I kind of love this color. I need to get like a bigger version of it. And then taking the MAC Global Glow Highlighter. I'm also going to be using that in the inner corners of my eye as like a highlight. Next, I'm taking my Mario Badescu. I don't even know how to say it. The rose water spray. This stuff is amazing. I love it. And then this NYX ombre liner. I'm just using the darker part. Okay, that was it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think about the video or if you have any suggestions as to what I should make in the future. Um, I will be talking about this hair soon. I'm kind of in love with this curly hair right now. And it was a little bit longer, but I've been like cutting later layers and stuff into it. But it's, it's amazing. And I'll let you guys know where it's from and all that jazz coming up very soon, I promise. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.